Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by stereoisomers. You should then be able to identify isomers using the cis-trans system. In the last video we looked at structural isomers. Structural isomers have the same molecular formula but different structural formulae. Now there is another category of isomers and these are called stereoisomers. I'm showing you the definition of stereoisomers here. Stereoisomers are molecules with the same structural formula, but the atoms are arranged differently in space. OK, now there are two main categories of stereoisomers. These are called geometrical isomers and optical isomers. We'll be looking at geometrical isomers in this video, and we'll be seeing optical isomers later in the course. OK, I'm showing you here the molecule 1,2-dibromoethane. Now a key idea you need to understand is that single covalent bonds are fully rotational. In other words, the covalent bond between the two carbon atoms can rotate like this. So all of these diagrams show the same molecule. All I've done in each case is rotate the covalent bond between the carbon atoms. OK, now I'm showing you 1,2-dibromoethene. Now unlike single covalent bonds which are fully rotational, Double covalent bonds have very restricted rotation. A double covalent bond can flex slightly, but it cannot rotate like a single covalent bond. And you'll see why when we look at alkenes in more detail. So what this means is that this molecule actually exists in two different forms, and I'm showing them here. These are called geometrical isomers of 1,2-dibromoethene. Scientists call the left-hand molecule cis-1,2-dibromoethene and the right-hand molecule trans-1,2-dibromoethene. Now I should point out that cis-trans is one of the naming systems for geometrical isomers. The other naming system is called EZ, and that's more complex. We'll be looking at the EZ system in the next video. Now any alkene can have cis-trans isomers as long as it meets two conditions. Firstly, the carbon atoms on the double bond must be attached to two different groups, and we can see this in the case of this molecule. Both carbon atoms on either side of the double bond are bonded to a bromine atom and a hydrogen atom. Secondly, at least one of those groups must be the same on both carbon atoms on the double bond. And in this case, this is actually true for both the hydrogen and the bromine. So how do we decide which is the cis isomer and which is the trans isomer? Well, first, we look at the group which is the same on both sides of the double bond. Now, in this case, we can choose either the hydrogen atoms or the bromine atoms. I'm going to choose the hydrogen atoms, but it would work just as well with the bromine. If the two hydrogen atoms are on the same side of the molecule, then this is the cis isomer. However, if the two hydrogen atoms are on opposite sides of the molecule, then this is the trans isomer. OK, I'd like you to draw the cis and trans isomers of the alkene but2ene. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, in the case of but2ene, the carbon atoms on either side of the double bond are both bonded to a hydrogen atom and a methyl group. Now we could consider either of these for naming cis-trans, but we'll go with a hydrogen. In the cis isomer, both hydrogen atoms are on the same side of the molecule, and we can see that in the diagram on the left. And in the trans isomer, the hydrogen atoms are on opposite sides of the molecule, and we can see that in the diagram on the right. OK, I'm showing you here but1ene. Unlike but2ene, but1ene cannot have cis-trans isomers. Remember that to have cis-trans isomers, both carbon atoms on either side of the double bond must be bonded to two different groups, and at least one of those groups must be the same for both carbon atoms. However, looking at but1ene, we can see that carbon-1 is bonded to two hydrogen atoms, so but1ene cannot have cis-trans isomers. I'm showing you here 1-chlorobut1ene. Now in this case we can have cis-trans isomers, and that's because the carbon atoms on either side of the double bond are bonded to two different groups. Carbon-1 is bonded to a hydrogen atom and a chlorine atom, and carbon-2 is bonded to a hydrogen atom and an ethyl group. So here are the cis and trans isomers of 1-chlorobut1-ene. OK, take a look at this molecule. In this alkene, the carbon atoms on either side of the double bond are bonded to four different groups. And as you can see, we have two isomers of this molecule. Now the problem is that we cannot use the cis-trans system for naming these isomers. 
So instead, we use a different method called the EZ system. And we look at the EZ system in the next video. Thank you.